I'm here in southern Mount Hebron in Masafer Yetta. This remote desert area has been home to Palestinian herding communities for hundreds of years. While it may look like a secluded and out of the way desert region, Masafer Yetta has recently come to the forefront of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Masafer Yetta is in Area C, one of the administrative land divisions in the West Bank established by the Oslo Accords. Israel exercises full control in Area C, and 62% of West Bank land is located in this area. Although the PA governs the West Bank, they are largely powerless to do anything in Area C without Israel's permission, including any development and service projects. Israeli authorities refer to Masafer Yetta as Firing Zone 918, and over the last several months, they have attempted to remove Palestinian residents of the area in order to carry out further annexation plans. As you can see, we are living here since hundreds of years. While we are here, we, we can see recent settlers who came here since, ten, since tens of years, and they have all these facilities in their life, and we can't have these facilities. Harsh natural conditions coupled with lack of services due to the political situation make Masafer Yetta a rough living environment. Nearby Israeli settlers receive power and water services through the Israeli government, but Palestinian farmers in the area are almost entirely without service provision. An unusual Israeli-Palestinian joint initiative has stepped in recently to fill this gap in services through the use of renewable energy technology. We've been uh, working in uh, Masfarat Yatta for about six years now. And actually, we started as a political activist in the area. And through the knowledge of the people and the communities, we learned about their needs. And we thought that uh, we can provide uh, the needs regarding energy. And this is how uh, we started. And by now, we provide energy to about 2,000 people in more than 20 communities. Sustainable electricity work in Area C tries to address the needs of a population at risk of slipping through the cracks because of violence and conflict. But such work goes beyond just lighting lamps. These communities are very poor. Um, and they live in small clusters of tents and caves. They don't have uh, uh, cement-built homes. Um, and uh, the reason we are here is because these communities, since 1967, have not been recognized in any way by Israel, and there has been no development plans here. So uh, really, these communities are, are um, uh, living without water, without electricity, sewage system, all of the modern infrastructure uh, that we are used to. The controversy over Masafer Yetta and Firing Zone 918 cuts to the core of one of the most problematic issues at the center of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The need for the PA, Israel, and the international community to find a solution to the thorny problem of Area C. Winnie Mancini, JN1, Masafer Yetta.